Diane and Denmark here. Rah, rah, rah. Can't get my arms done. We are having another clothes swap party and I haven't seen these ladies for months due to the lockdown. Anyway, we are kind of uh, back with the clothes swap party. We're at Vibica's house today and if I don't remember to say it, anything that is not taken home by the ladies today, uh, I'll, I'll show you in a minute what, what we've already got. Uh, it is given to a shelter, you know, a men's shelter, women's shelter, a charity shop, so nothing is wasted so um, take a look at home see what you've got maybe you can organize a little swap yourself it doesn't need to be uh, clothes uh, we've also got books household stuff maybe you've got some craft items uh, but the main thing is that we we just love to get together for the social thing and the food is good so I'll show you a wee bit of the food as well so let's go Okay, so we're, the ladies have arrived and we're still unpacking, but this is what we've got so far. This is just from, like, three ladies. Uh, oh, you remember Sammy decluttering that recently. And here we've got jewellery and uh, household items. And there's always a ton of books. So let's see. Shout if you want any of these. You're going to have to be quick. I don't know what's there. I don't think there's anything for me this time. And often, and we always say, you know, um, when we take these things, if you're not going to use them before we have the next clothes swap, then, then bring it back and let somebody else get it. We've also got some interesting crafty stuff. I'm not quite sure what these are. I think they're for going on bottles. And I'm tempted, but I'm not, I'm not going to take them. And then we've got uh, the start of our... Makeup, gently used, uh, nail varnish, anything like that, sunglasses, jars, hats. Oh, we've always got Lego stuff, nice Lego clock. Oh, and because just sorting out the shoes. Oh, look, I think those came from Sushi Loves. Oh, yeah, those are small. Okay, let's take a look at the clothes. All right, here we are. We're, oh, ladies are looking at the oh, nice. dresses. So here we look, and I'll go over here. Oh, and there's Vibika's tree that you've seen before in many videos. I'm going to say, oh, Now I'm actually wearing one of Vibika's dresses today. If you can see it, it was a swap item. Cheers, Chin Chin. Chin Chin. And here we have the blouses. See what else we've got over here. Oh, squeeze me, Kate. I'll just come around behind you. Remember your physical distancing. Here we've got, um, I think this is uh, t shirts. Oh, that might be something for me. I'm really a mermaid. Oh, I'm going to have a look at that. And sports stuff. Oh, I'm going to have a look at the sports stuff today. <coughs> And over here we've got um, jumpers. Oh, that looks nice. I'll take a look. Okay, I'm going to stop filming and start trying. Okay, Bettina's just uh, serving the cheers uh, with some cava. And I think we've got some uh, minty water. And somebody has gone all out on doing the food today. Oh, was that you, Bettina? No, no, no. no. I've got a salad here, but ah, it's still okay. in pieces. Right, one more time before we start eating, and there's a rhubarb cake, Bettina's pudding, Aha, the finishing touches to her delicious salad. Is that cheese, Bettina? It is the feta. I'm not sure cheese. Should put it in or where should put it on the side? Just put it in the middle? I don't know. Yeah, it looks very nice, whatever it is. And then the fruit, and I've uh, got some kind of dip, and this is my salad, which is a Thai larb dressing with black bean and mango and tomato and mint, strawberries, and we've already started those, so bon appétit. Right, this is what is left at uh, half time. Here I am. Hello, hello. And a lot of the things have gone from here. Shall so have we look at the table? Because other things may have appeared from the last people to turn up the party. Mm, I can smell coffee. I think nobody else wants these, so I think I'm going to take them. My family's going to say, what on earth? Yeah. You'll be seeing those in a Christmas video. Oh, still a lot of shoes. Let's see. Dancing shoes, 
and everybody's got their piles of stuff. Remember to keep your uh, clothes swat swapping items that you're taking home in a different room so that nobody takes them by mistake. Um, and this was uh, sports stuff and tops. And I think I said at the beginning, whatever we don't take home, we will bag everything up and it goes to a women's or a men's shelter or it goes to a charity shop. So win-win situation. And look at that, we are all packed up. Vibeke can get her hers back again. And next, I'm going to show you what I'm going home with. See you soon. Right, so here's what I uh, brought home with me from the swap. And I think the best thing about the swap yesterday was just actually being able to see my friends who I haven't seen since uh, lockdown. And of course, uh, in Denmark, we have been easing out of lockdown for weeks and weeks. Uh, basically, everything is reopen. People are out in restaurants, uh, swimming pools are open. But I've still kind of been living in my little uh, bubble, so I haven't really seen anybody. And uh, as you saw there, we had the hand sanitizer. We're still keeping our distance, uh, but it was just it was just so lovely to, to see the ladies again. Anyway, um, there were lots of clothes there, but go me <laughs> give myself a pat on the back i only took a few clothes items this time they're they're mainly other uh, types of items and i should really stop seeing you know clothes swap parties because as you saw we we swapped so many other things anyway uh, let, let's go through the clothes first uh, a really beautiful uh, little camisole top uh, and this really nice uh, turquoise uh, aqua color and i wear a lot of camisoles i wear them under most of my clothes uh, not not in summer obviously because it's too hot but in spring autumn and winter I, I like to have them and tuck them to keep my, my tummy warm and this is a really uh, lovely soft one uh, and actually I should say the the dress that I'm wearing today it's got quite a nice back uh, this is actually a swap item from Vibiga stand up and uh, very very nice and cool for, for when it's hot so anyway so that's the first one more at leisure wear uh, if you saw me doing a declutter recently in the bottom drawer, that's where I keep all my, my sports gear. I get a lot of my sports gear at these uh, clothes swaps. And this one is um, a little crispy uh, running jacket from uh, Puma. Uh, great for those kind of uh, coolish mornings. A couple of zipped pockets for my keys and snotty hanky. Um, so that, that's, I'm, I'm really looking forward to using that. And then um, just a very basic white t-shirt, or is it? This actually belonged to Sue. She hasn't worn it at all. It was a gift uh, and it just, it's just not her um, uh, body shape. Uh, and because if you look in the back, it says, I'm really a mermaid. And I love these kind of uh, crisp cotton t-shirts. I use them a lot underneath my jackets and then I'll maybe add a statement necklace or uh, one of my little uh, head scarves that I tie and I know, you know, with my polka dot scarves. So I, I'm always on the lookout for kind of crisp white t-shirts. So that's a great wardrobe basic. And this one, this is something that was in the kind of second round of swapping. I took it just at the very end. Uh, I, I really love that kind of baby blue color. I have a lot of things in baby blue. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll really wear it. It's, it's a moto jacket. I like the moto style jackets. Uh, but even if I just wear it a few times, I'll see how I feel. Maybe I want to keep it. Maybe I don't want to keep it. And if I don't really get um, wearing it, we have this, uh, as I've said before, this kind of agreement that if you're not wearing it and using it, the thing that you took at the clothes swap party, you bring it back uh, another time. So let's see how we go with that. And then on to the non clothes items, let, let me just get the bag. And this was a very mixed, oh sorry, very mixed bag this time. Uh, I took some uh, household things. Uh, they, these are ones that I'm gonna keep there, uh, Ikea dishes that can go in the oven, microwave, dishwasher. I actually took some things for my son because my son will be moving into an apartment, hopefully, um, in the autumn. So I took some things for him. I've, I've already put those uh, separately. Uh, we're, 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 we've, we've started a kind of um, collection of things in the basement of anything that we declutter of uh, household items for him. Okay, this one, can anybody guess what this is? It's quite heavy. 
that. It's not a beauty beauty box or anything like that. Let me open it up. I shall show you. It is. And uh, works perfectly, never really been used. It is a projector. And we can, as cables, everything is in there. So we can link it up to our computer or to the iPad and watch movies on it, have a kind of dri drive-in movie night. So that, that's a fun item to get. You know, so, you know projector is kind of a fun item to have, but maybe not something that I'm gonna spend uh, money on. So let's say we got with projector. Uh, I took a few books and magazines uh, and again, it's not something that I'll hold on to, read them and then pass them on. Uh, a Ruth Rendell, um, you know, a crime, crime novel, that one. Uh, and also some uh, glossy magazines. These are Danish ones. You may recognise uh, Princess uh, Marie, who is uh, French, married to one of the Danish uh, princes. Here she's there. Uh, and also some craft ones. Um, and they're, they're just fun to look at. I'm not really expecting to be doing any sewing, but I did see in one of them, they also have some things of how to make um, tassel earrings. And I think I'm probably going to be doing that because you saw the other day, I like to use my hoop earrings and add stuff onto it just to kind of change things up. So I'll, I'll probably do that. I shall no doubt tell you in another video. So some books and magazines. Buttons. I was just thinking the other day that I want to change up some buttons that I have on some clothes and either put on some white buttons or some gold buttons. And look at that, there, there were buttons. So I'm, I'm, I'm taking the buttons and whatever I don't use, uh, I'll, I'll pass those on. Oh, a pair of fluffy slippers because my slippers are really on their last legs. Boom, boom, on their last legs. So a little pair of fluffy slippers. Uh, some hair products. Uh, and, and, I really enjoy just letting my hair dry naturally, especially at the weekend. And then I put on a wee bit of um, hair wax or hair gel and just kind of scrunch up to give me a wee bit of body. So I'm looking forward to trying these. Uh, one is from uh, L'Oreal and the other one is uh, Metes, which is a Danish um, drugstore. So, so two things to try of those. And we're almost at the bottom. A winter hat. Uh, this is one, uh, the brand is Musto, which I believe is kind of sailor for sailors, or outdoorsy people. A uh, nice warm one. I think it's merino wool for the winter. And I also uh, picked up this one. This was another last, uh, you know, we have kind of two rounds of, of the swapping. And then you just pick up things that, you know, you might use, you might not. Uh, this is a fun little one because it you can pack it up or you can unroll it. And I think this might be good for when I'm working in the garden. Bow at the back. It's a kind of droopy sun hat. So see how we get on with that. And then there's always some kind of weird item. I'm going to need your help with this because I know, I think these ones, the snowmen, are for going on bottles. That kind of makes sense. But the other ones, I'm not quite sure, is that for hanging on the tree or are you meant to put something inside it? Answers on a postcard, please. Anyway, you will see these coming out again at, uh, at Christmas. So anyway, that, that was my uh, haul uh, from the party. Uh, I hope you enjoyed coming along to our little uh, Huga swap. Remember, please, 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 when you're decluttering, think about that. You know, if you are not using it, uh, if you don't need it, pass it on to somebody else uh, who, who will, you know, use it and maybe love it. Uh, whether you are taking it to a charity shop, you, you saw that all, all the leftover things that we have, they go to uh, a women's shelter, men's shelter, charity shop. So we're, we're reusing everything that we have. Everybody wins. And you don't need to maybe have... Um, a close swap party like we do but you know maybe just to get together with some friends uh, as I always say you know maybe you've got uh, craft supplies maybe you have uh, knitting supplies maybe you have books whatever it is let's just get you know things moving out of your home and, and pass it on to somebody who's going to live and use it so anyway on that note for my pom-poms I'm sitting on my pom-poms <laughs> All I've got left to say is uh, live long and prosper. May the Danish food be with you. And if you enjoyed my little video today, remember you can give me a pom-pom shake by pressing the uh, the like button. We'll call it a pom-pom button. And I shall see you very soon. Okay, rah, rah, rah.